Hello to the Monday morning inspiration for the joy of creation and the magic, the magic, magic of art, creativity and play. So I'm so glad you are all here. And so if you are new here and you are watching this, um, welcome. I'm so happy you joined. That's so awesome. So these Monday morning inspirations are designed to huh, give you some tools to change whatever is going on in your life where you think that you are not what you truly are. You are not a grand creator. You are not a fantastic, infinite being with so much joy that you can hardly contain it. And so if you don't have that space of joy that you hardly can contain because it's just bubbling out of you left, right, and center. So if that is not the case for you, what have you made real that isn't? What have you made true that is not for you? So how many lies have you made solid and real and meaningful that are lies? <laughs> so all right so you can ask questions um there is a mic if you are on zoom which um i am right now streaming from you can ask questions you can also post questions um in our group um i have to go quickly to our group because this is where we are live and so um, you can post questions here, and uh, if you watch this later, please feel free, ask questions. This will also go on my YouTube channel. So what else truly is possible here, where we never give up that joy that we truly are, that inert joy, that, that space of ease. True joy is also ease filled um, it is it is also very it is a very relaxed space it's not the frantic joy um, that we must have with the use of i don't know what alcohol or drugs or whatever i'm not talking about that at all um, i'm talking about the space of joy that you might know you know have you ever walked on a beach and then a dolphin jumped in the water and you saw it or birds were landing on your path or you found this beautiful pebble with a heart shape on it and the moment you discovered it and found it on your path that kind of a joy that is just really a very wide open heart space of joy this is what i'm talking about and this is what the monday morning inspiration for the joy of creation and the magic of art creativity and play is about and play is also not about oh i just go into the sandbox all day and i um i leave i leave everything behind and i check out i'm not talking about that either Playfulness is the space that we choose and we commit to no matter what is going on around us. So are you all willing to commit to that? Yeah, that's a big question, right? <laughs> and it might bring up things for you. So if you are on Zoom here with me, you can of course ask a live question um, and if you don't want to there's a chat um, you just click on wherever that is here chat there's a chat space on the right um, and you can oh yeah there it says chat you can ask questions or share what's coming up or whatever so today i would like to talk about how ingenious are you how ingenious are you? And what do I mean by that? So I, this morning then I looked up, what is actually ingenuity? What is that? I'm not talking about ingeniousness, but 
ingenuity. And so I read in an old dictionary, you have to know that in 1956, some folks changed the meaning of words at the Leipzig Convention. And it was not only for English, it was for all the languages. So they changed meanings of languages, of the languages. So meaning of words got changed. So you got to always look in old dictionaries pre that time, before 1956, to find the meaning of words that got hidden. I wonder why they did that. But I think that's for a different Monday morning inspiration, or maybe not. So ingenuity is the power of invention, its quickness or acuteness in combining ideas or in forming new combinations. And it's openness of the heart. So it's a great skill. And how ingenious are you that you have never acknowledged? Were you ever able to change something or sort of like, you know, here comes magic into play, my way of talking about magic, which is not the potions and all that, but combining things in a new way, that is what I refer to as magic. Doing things different, swirling things up in a big cold one, having it melt, having it change, and add maybe different ingredients to it make it into something different. So that is ingenuity. It's like, it's, it's not like doing the same thing over and over and over and then expect it to create some result. Ingenuity is very much like the openness of the heart. It's the, the open space of a question, which if you are artists, how much are you actually using this? And if you are artists of your own life and living, which you all are, just bring up a moment where you had been, where you were actually able to change something, do something different, turn something around, and it, it changed whatever was going on in your life, right? Einstein said, Insanity is when we do the same thing over and over and over and over and expect it to create a different result. So that's insanity. And when we look at this reality, it teaches us to be pretty much insane, right? Just do the same thing over and here's the, the steps you need to follow. Everyone has followed them. And you look at this long trail of all the sheep or the herds of the herd animals that followed one another and then thinking it creates a different result. No, it does not. It will just stay in the same prescribed, pre-walked path, which I wonder, did you ever choose this or did you always deviate? Did you always wander off and do, do things different? And so, how much do we have to cut off ourselves? It's like, you know, the ways to paint. Like in my painting classes, I, I, I can just not do this painting by numbers teaching art type thing. If, <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, uh, some relatives offered me um, like a paint kit with everything that I needed. And it was like, prescribed colors and so number one field you fill in this color there was no color mixing or whatever you just take the tubes that there are it's all pre-mixed for you and you just fill the spaces how boring was that i didn't touch the thing <laughs> i just couldn't and how many of you were never really either were not able to to do that and then you were made wrong for it and you got bad grades because you didn't do what you were told to do or number two how many of you forced yourself in doing that and as it then didn't work for you you made you wrong <sighs> yeah right gosh it i can just not do it right hmm? is that what you thought then 
um, and the teachers look at you, they look at you cross. Yeah, you can just not do it. One of my teachers in grade school said to me that I don't have, Bettina, you just don't have any imagination. <laughs> Isn't that funny? In hindsight, like, it's hilarious, you know. Yet, luckily, I didn't believe that stuff. But this is how we are being forced into the pattern of this reality. How ingenious are you that you could somehow make it through all of this and still be here? Welcome. Hello. I'm so happy you are here. How ingenious are you and what did you come up with that worked for you? And now what can we all create that will work for us? that will create the life and the living here on the earth with all creatures, with all beings, in total communion and oneness, this oneness space. If you have watched this beautiful documentary, My Octopus Teacher, that, that, that connection that, that he makes with this creature, an octopus, who would have thought, like, right? When he made that connection, it changed, of course, his life, and it changed everything. It is these ripples, literally the ripples that go out into the world that change everything. How ingenious are you? And, you know, ingenuity is really about following your knowing. What do you know? What do you know that works for you? And also, what do you know that does not work for you? And will you succumb to what everybody says, your family, your friends, your coworkers, if you still have some? <laughs> um, these are crazy times, right? So much has changed. and. So much is wide open. Now, what is possible? What space has already opened for you that you cannot lay your finger on? You, it doesn't have words. You cannot describe it. It is so undefined. Yet, my question to you is, is it? Is there a space for you that has opened that you can now ask questions and be in question? Okay, so what can I create now? And if I was ingenious, what could I choose? Where do I go? Where's the information that I require right now? And it's with everything, with like this painting that is here with me right now that you will see when you have the video on, um, but you can also watch it later on YouTube, whatever. So the painting that is here with me, I started in a live painting event with a film team. And so there was no audience, obviously, because right now it's not possible to have live audiences, unfortunately. So it was a, a small team that was there with me. And so I painted live to a wide audience that was not visible to me, yet was the audience there? Yes, of course, it was also in the future. And in that space, I, you know, I never know what I'm going to, what I'm going to paint. It, I cannot, it just doesn't work for me. I tried it so much and I banged my head against the wall and then I thought, oh, might as well not choose that anymore. So I, I don't have any preconceived ideas anymore. I don't have sketches. I have no idea what I'm going to paint. And, and I throw myself into this adventure of open space and I, I actually enjoy it. And I play, play, mm, the magic of art creativity and play, I play in that space which takes all this, um, the severity and the, 
the meaningfulness and all the meaning and all the significance out of it. And I also give myself the total right to make the most hilarious mistakes. And so I was in this open space and I, I started to create this painting and I didn't finish it. I left it, I had 30 minutes and I left it totally open. And then the funny mistake was like, I misunderstood a sign that somebody gave me for timing and I thought it was over. And I started wrapping it all up and say, oh, thank you so much everybody for watching. And it was not over yet. I still had 10 more minutes and it was, it was beautiful. Like how ingenious are you all where, you know, think about the moment where there was an oops or a faux pas or whatever. And what did you choose then? What did you choose? Did you make yourself wrong? Or what did you come up with? And it's this improvisation, you know, if you ever have been in a fantastic jazz concert, it's, and you, you see these, and you are not only seeing, but you're here and you are there and you engage with these musicians that take you on a journey into like wide open space and possibility where with improvisation, we never know where we are going to go. Yet what is possible where the, the genius is present and truly is a genie out of the bottle. And here's again the magic. When we, when, when we are allowing that and this, when we open our hearts and we are totally vulnerable and it is a vulnerability to be on a stage where, where you don't know who is even there. You have no idea who you are talking to and, and, and you don't know what is going to be and who who is going to hear it in the future and you have no idea what is going to occur hello everyone who's joining now hi <laughs> i'm so glad you are here so that wide open space is you might think it is scary for you and my question to you is are you truly scared or are you excited so I would like you all to think about a moment <clears throat> where you had this, like something, something didn't go the way you thought and you had to improvise. You, you just did it in the moment, just like that. Something didn't work out or whatever, but you knew you had to cross that river. And what did you do? What did you choose? What did you come up with in that moment? And it can be a very like daily life type thing. Like when, when my shoe fell off, my sole fell off of the shoe and I was basically like limping around in the street and, and it was so funny. It could have been a faux pas. The gallerist that I had met with, she didn't say a word. We were both laughing. Be make it into a comedy. What if life is more comical than, than we always think it is. It's in this reality, comedy can be a very strange thing. And maybe you found that you never really laughed about the comedy of this reality. And then everybody looked at you. Why are you not laughing? What's wrong with you? You are not wrong. Maybe you have just a different sense of comedy. And, and like the ingenuity is when you came up with something, you combined some elements. And here I come back to this definition that I, I read in the beginning. You combine elements of creation and we call it extrapolation. You, you just pull things together and you mix it up, you mix it up and you come up with an idea. Hey, this works. Let's do this. Come up. Improvisation is where your ingenuity taps in and you create something, you come up with something that in hindsight, you might have been surprised about yourself. How, how did I do that? <laughs> how did I come up with this idea? Yet the moment when I wanted to wrap up my, my live painting event 10 minutes too early, is like, wow, that's funny. And I started laughing and I used this moment to, to let everybody know that, hey, this is totally impromptu. The musicians, 
we we have never rehearsed i didn't rehearse my painting i had no rehearsal for what am i going to say there's no script there's nothing and and i invited everybody to come and watch these beautiful tv shows that are you know i invite you all also it is the heist in ripon and it's heist tv and you can find it on youtube great creators they it's like see another part of ingenuity is so with everything being so restrained right now and some some people trying to really tighten that restraint more and more and more events are not happening shows are not like there are no concerts yet watch for what is being created I was just invited to to sing in a we all different singers different music, musicians we are going to record one song and and it's the avenue out of appleton avenue radio and then they are going to put this together with a video so we are going to sing for everyone and so this is ingenuity where one door closes and you know that another door opens what if you never give up that as a possibility are you willing to to add this to your platform that will allow you to surf this reality with ease like a surfer right that does a surfer always know what the wave is exactly going to be like do they rehearse can they even rehearse right when you look at these these surfers, the, the, the wave riders and whale riders, when you look at them, it is ingenious. It is ingenuity. It's the moment where you, you flip how you, you change and it's slight changes. You can also see this with birds, how they use their tail and the wing feathers to float on these winds that is never predictable that is total improvisation when a butterfly tumbles behind you in the wind that your car makes and it's caught in the wind and you see it tumble 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 and then just using its ingenuity and trusting its capacities and keeps on flying. Are you guys all willing to trust your capacities and also ask questions about it? What are my capacities? What am I good at? What does my body know? And you know how I always love bringing in our bodies because they are here with us. They are cool, they are amazing, they are magical, right? We, we do everything with them why not take them into consideration so that that ingenuity where you also engineer things moments spaces and energies that did not exist before and you all have this capacity you all know this nobody told you now I'm telling you, and you knew it also, so it's not new to you, right? So, um, huh. does anyone have any questions? <laughs> does this bring up anything for you? Where would you like us to go? You can also type something in the chat if you would like. How ingenious are you? And you are a unique, beautiful, amazing creator. And what did you come here to create? What if you never give up? Even now where so many people want to give up and so much is not sure at all and things pop up and then they change and they come up and they change like talk about change this is a time of 
massive change and transformation. And could it be that you all, that we all knew what was coming and we were ready there on the other side, standing in line, you know, and you were maybe a little bit further in the back in that line and, and you had so many people in front of you and you knew, oh gosh, I know I gotta go in now. I know I'm ready. I have all the tools, so many lifetimes and I know I can do this and I know we can create things together and there's this beautiful planet Earth. I heard so much about it and this is a planet that is teaching us how to create and what to create and to never give up and to be joyful and play with all the elements and all the beings and create with them. Oh my gosh, I would so, can I please like, universe, can you do a miracle please so that I can go in the front of the line? And there's the person in the front of the line, the being walking up to you and saying, you know what, you go, you go first. And you just jumped. There was no hesitation. You just, yes, let's do this. And so what if you use that energy now where you don't hesitate in trusting you, where you don't hesitate with your knowing and you don't doubt Doubt is a choice, fear is a choice. And those of you who have heard about the Access Consciousness tools, you know that these are distractor implants. They are designed to distract us from our joy, our being, our gifts, our grand capacities. You are grand creators. And Will you please give up the sadness? You can pretend for other people that you are sad and you are shocked and whatever. Yet just for you, will you please cultivate the joy of creation? What did you come here to create? How ingenious are you? Hmm. Hmm. How ingenious are you? So please bring up, this is an exercise that you could do, bring up moments where you changed something that wasn't supposed to be possible or you deviated or you did something, you chose, it's actually that you chose something in this very moment, what was it? Bring up these, these moments of your genius, of your ingenuity and write them, write them down somewhere in a book Call, the, call this book my genius, the genius I truly am or whatever. Come up with a cool title and write these things down. Make a list. You might be surprised about that list, how long it gets. And every time you, you remember, each time you remember one of those instances, add them into your book. Write it down. And for a moment, I would just love to acknowledge this in you how ingenious you are, what a fabulous creator you all are. And if you go now to, I don't know what she's talking about. Yes, I do. I know what I'm talking about. I know exactly. What can you now waken up, awaken in you that will allow you to paint the most beautiful canvases to weave and create your most beautiful life? What can you add to your life? You know, what is there with you that would love to create with you? And are you all willing to ask for ease? And wealth, yes, 
you don't have to, but you can, you sure can. And maybe that brought up things for you. Um, so please let me know. Do you have questions? Otherwise, I will soon wrap this up because I'm going into other areas now already. <laughs> and I, I can talk for hours. <laughs> How ingenious are you? So I just acknowledge this now in you, that you are ingenious. And you know what? Just the fact that you are here, you are still here on the planet through all of this. I mean, really, who would have thought? <laughs> None of us thought that whatever we were asking for would show up this way, but things always show up different than what we think. So is this part of the change you have been asking for? It's a great yeah. question to ask. Yes. If you want me to talk about specific things, whether it is art related, see, I'm always taking things from my, my creator space, whether it's art or performance or singing, I take things and I make them into general themes because I found out that what I meet in my studio, what I come across with myself in my studio, in my creation space are themes at large. So a canvas is our entire life. A white canvas is like a blank open page, which is this reality right now. Um, well, this reality might be not so wide open space, but if you start looking at what has actually opened up and what is possible now, then you, you tap into the blank canvas. <laughs> All right, my friends, thank you so much for being here and please keep creating, never give up and make your list about your genius, all right? <laughs> because you are, you are a genius. Thank you. Have a great week. I see you soon, hopefully somewhere. Bye. Thank you.